This game, Port Adelaide taking on Hawthorne. Adelaide over. Yeah, for the Port Adelaide. Good to see Lady back in there. Outside Renoff spin a minute for the Hawks. They've made some changes after last week. Hodgie's in. Brad Sewell, little experiences back. Shields and Pepper. Out the side. Gee, there's some guns missing here. Roughhead, Gibson, Rioli, Cheney. This four guns. This game's at Adelaide Oval on Saturday. Well, it's going to be a huge game. But uh, let's talk to you first, Pete. The Hawks' defence without Brian Lake. Gibson, they're going to be tested severely against the Port Adelaide forward line. They're playing very good footy. Schultz up and about. How would you set up going into this game if you're a great defensive coach, they tell me? So how would you go about it? <laughs> yeah, look, it is going to be an interesting game. I think uh, Port Adelaide number two in um, total total score and, and, and goals and funny enough Hawthorne's number one so yeah. it's going to be a bit of a shootout but look I don't think it really matters who they have down there I mean they've got showmakers to cover a bit of height um, it actually wouldn't surprise me if he moves forward at some stage during yeah. the day if it's going okay just to stretch the forward line without rough head but uh, look Hawthorne are really good at folding back they're probably the best side at, at folding back yeah. and creating the spare they really work to you know create a spare in general play behind and then get speed to the midfield and space in the forward line so you know they've got a really good development program they do that all the way through their Box Hill side. So I've no doubt that, you know, they've been training for situations like this for a very long time that um, they can have the players to come in and, and cover those roles. Yeah, I just want to ask Aaron about um, Port Power and what a time for Port Power to get Hawthorne when those three or four guns are missing. If they win this game, they can go two games clear on top of the ladder. Yeah, well, I reckon... Port will probably be kicking themselves. They would have wanted Hawthorne to produce their best, so there's no excuses. But I don't know. I, I'm a Melbourne man, but I've got love for Port Power. I just reckon that there's something. So, just quietly. Chris, what is it that you like about Port Adelaide? You pumped them up early on in the show there, and quite rightly so. They are on top of the ladder. What, what is it that you like about them? Well, one guy I like is Chatty Wingard. I think at the moment he's, yeah. um, he's certainly... My favourite player. He's, like people mm. talk about he's the best small forward. I think he's just the best utility player. I reckon he could come into any side and just dominate and just be the player he is. And, uh, you know, you talk about Schiltz and, uh, you know, they're not massive, massive names and they're not super, super stars. But what they do is they all just get the job done. To me, when I watch them, I just, it just looks to me that they all know their role, they yeah. all play their role within the team at all sort of, uh, at different stages of the game. Dougie, I suppose the, the thing for Port Adelaide is not to take Hawthorne too easily, even though they've got some big names out, because if they do, um, Port Adelaide take yeah, Hawthorne too easily. Right, I, I don't think they up. will. I think they know quite well that these are you know, Hawthorne, the running premiers from last year, and they're going to come to play. There's no doubt about it. I think Sewell's back in, Brad Sewell may be yep. back in that Hawthorne side. He's, he's been out for a while. He's got a bit of heart and soul about him. And, of course, with Luke Hodge, the skipper coming in, no Sam Mitchell, very important play in that midfield with them as well. But, you know, Hodge in that side, Sewell back in that side, adds that little bit of grunt and desperation they need. Pete, uh, yeah. Roughhead's out of the side, but yeah. you've still got Gunston, you've got Hale down there, you've got Bruce. So they've still got some really good forwards down there that can kick some big goals. And they also, uh, you know, get a, quite a spread from their midfield and... Look, I, I know that uh, this week that they're actually really working on contested ball and if they win the contested ball, that's obviously going to help their defence out and allow them more opportunity to attack. Aaron, Travis Boak, he's been absolutely inspirational as the leader of that club this year and uh, do you like the way he goes about his game? Because that extra responsibility, he seems to have gone to another level from last year. Oh, clearly he's... Uh, oh, I put him on par with Ebert. I reckon those two have been their biggest drives this year. So... Um, yeah. You know, obviously, Bokey was hot property a couple of years ago. Everyone wanted him, and you can sort of see why now. But um, I reckon him and Ebert, their ability to work together and lead from the front. Um, and I'm just, Ebert, he's, I reckon he's a smoky for the brown lane, just quietly. Okay, well, just let's quietly. get selections on this game, Dougie. Port Adelaide or Hawthorne? Well, Kane Corn has been absolutely fantastic as well. Uh, I think we're going to have a flag favourite. Um, and Port Adelaide week. do the job. They'll yeah. do the job. I think they'll beat Hawthorne. And they will go two games clear. So, for me, Port Adelaide did the real deal. Ken Hinkley's been sensational. Yeah. They'll get the job done. Port Adelaide for mine. OK. Yeah. Flash? Port Power. Oh. <laughs> Peter? Yeah, certainly Port Adelaide for me. Um, yeah. Just their, 
gut running, they'll be able to close down the way that uh, Hawthorne like to flick it out and use the spare. Yeah, Chris. Grant, Grant don't get me wrong, I like Port Adelaide, but you've got to, you've got to think of these seven names. That's how you them up Lewis, now you're going to go no, but, but listen to these names. Lewis, Hodge, Gunston, Sewell, Burgoyne, Hill and Birchall. They're some pretty good players. But I don't think they're going to get job done. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you start to talk yeah. like me. Now. <laughs> Don't start talking like me. Now nah, look, I actually feel that Adelaide Oval is a two-goal advantage for the home team. <laughs> that two goals is enough to get them over the line. Port Adelaide by two points. <laughs> Port Adelaide, love the way they go about it, Chris. Port Adelaide for me in a big game there.